and these ludicrous penny loafers. Nobody here has an eye for fashion. Does this lab coat make me look fat? Gordon, I'm in the middle of something here. Rat. No toilet paper. Uh, hello? Hello? Could somebody get me some toilet paper? Excuse me. Minor emergency. Panic, Harold. Don't panic. Oh, thank heavens. I'm in dire need of some toilet paper. Remember my days in the hazardous environment suit? Of course, at the time, it was Mark III. Mind you, the base color wasn't so loud. And the helmet wasn't optional, or ventilated. There wasn't an integrated waste disposal system, either. Count your lucky stars. Have you ever seen those electromyographic sensors in the old biomechatronic Mark I? A marvel of modern engineering. I worked on the underwater breathing apparatus for the suit, but it was eventually discarded. I say, that suit certainly flatters your fundament. They need you in the test chamber. said for me to take the day off. I hope things return to normal after this experiment. Don't count on it. If anything, you'll just have more to do. Go right on through, sir. Looks like you're in the barrel today. N 
Knock him dead down there, Gordon. Oh yeah, before I forget, me and the boys were thinking about some poker tonight. I'll keep you posted. See you soon. Hello, old chum. Did you catch that last fluctuation? It's nothing to worry about. Go bother someone else, Gordon. Now where did I leave that shutdown procedure chart? I'm sure it'll show up sooner or later. Your resonance control. Double check the Brewster's plate's angles and make sure these superluminescent diodes are protected from optical feedback. How curious. The acousto optic modulators are on the fritz again. <laughs> I assure you, we've compensated for any contingency. What's up, Doc? It's been a mess down here this morning. Have fun. Whew, I'm bushed. Standing around can take a lot out of you. They need you in the test chamber. Hello, Gordon Freeman. Excuse me, Gordon, but I'm rather busy now. Can this wait? Ah, Freeman! If another instrument malfunctions today, I'm going to explode. Please relax. Things could be much, much worse. There you are. Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. We've just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. Mm. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the test chamber. Right. Come on, then. I'll walk you down. I has been busy making last-minute preparations for the new experiment. Greetings, Eli. Morning, Izzy. I trust this morning finds you well. Gordon, good morning. I'm glad you're here. These last-minute changes, they're a bit strange to just... Oh! It's about to go critical! 
What in the blazes is going on with our equipment? Huh. It was never meant to do this in the first place. Huh. It's nothing we can't handle ourselves, Eli. Run along, Gordon. We'll be but a moment. By Beckrell's ghost. The radiation level is off the charts. Gordon, I'm busy. You know, this is far from the glory I had envisioned as an undergrad. How so? I've got two PhDs and an Ersted medal, yet I find myself doing work best suited for an intern. Please, you do very meaningful work here. Really? Push that button. Walk over here. Push this one. Stand and stare at the screen. Walk back over there. Push another button. Again. Come now. You're overreacting. <sighs> I don't know how much longer I can abide these perfunctory tasks. I need more time for myself. Ha. Huh. Don't kid yourself. You wouldn't know what to do with free time if you even had any. That tears it. I'm going to check with the office upstairs and see how many vacation days I've accrued over the past 25 years. It's high time I took a break from all this. Certainly. But before you do, activate the electron multiplier and report the reading from the micro-channel plates. You'll just have to wait until after the test. Later, Gordon. Not now, Gordon. Oh, there you are. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. Ah, oh, here he is. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And potentially the most unstable. Now, as long as we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. I just don't feel... Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. The higher-ups will have our heads if we delay this experiment any longer. You're just postponing the inevitable. Just go on and get it over with. Catching the opening night jitters, Gordon? Can't say I blame you. Don't worry, Dr. Freeman. You'll do just fine. Are you waiting for something, Gordon? He's just savoring. Testing. Testing. <clears throat> Everything seems to be in order. All right, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. Now, if you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, that way we can bring the anti-mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. Dr. Freeman, please. Take it from here. Power to 
stage one emitters in three, two, one. I'm seeing predictable phase arrays. Stage two emitters activating now. Uh, Gordon, we cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level, nor how long the reading will take. Uh, please, work as quickly as you can. Overhead capacitors to 105%. Uh, it's probably not a problem. Probably. But I'm showing a small discrepancy in... Well, no. It's well with an acceptable balance again. Sustaining sequence. We've just been informed that the sample is ready, Gordon. It should be coming up to you at any moment. Look to the delivery system for your specimen. Standard insertion for non-standard specimen. Shutting down! Someone get him out of there! Shut it down! It's not... It's not shutting down! 